Hello and welcome back to Battle Plan, a podcast focused on spiritual warfare. I'm Steve Hemphill and Battle Plan is an ongoing discussion of how we put our faith into action. Our website is active-faith.org and my email is stevehemphill1 at me.com. I would love to hear from you. In our last episode, we talked about plowing hearts for gospel seeds. Today, we're going to talk about scripture versus snakes in the basement. Genesis 3 verse 1 NLT says, the serpent was the shrewdest of all the wild animals the Lord God had made. One day he asked the woman, did God really say you must not eat the fruit from any of the trees in the garden? Notice a couple things here. Notice that uh, Eve wasn't surprised at the serpent talking to her. Maybe all the animals talked, who knows? But also notice how the serpent was twisting God's word. Did, did God say that they shouldn't eat any of the fruit from any of the trees in the garden? No, they could eat all of them except one. So he's twisting the words. A few verses later in Genesis 3, 15, CEV, it says, you and this woman, this was part of the curse because of their sin in Eden. You and this woman, God is speaking here to the serpent and the woman. You and this woman will hate each other. Your descendants and hers will always be enemies. One of hers will strike you on the head, and you will strike him on the heel. So this, this fear of snakes comes as part of the curse. We'll hate each other. Most people hate snakes. There's a few exceptions to that, but uh, I got an interesting call one day I want to share with you. I got a call from a guy in, uh, well, actually, I didn't know where he was from, but he said he had built a home on his farm, a ranch many years ago, and he's always had a problem of snakes in the basement. Now, they were non-poisonous snakes. They were small, but it was always, uh, it made his wife scared. I mean, who loves snakes? Not many people love snakes. And so he said, if I stake my house with your stakes with Bible verses on them, will it get rid of my snake problem? Now, I had never had anybody ask that before, but immediately I thought of these verses where Satan has appeared as, and he was very shrewd. Shrewdness implies intelligence. Satan's very intelligent. He was originally called Lucifer. And I thought of the verses where the enemy, our enemy, Satan, the devil, um, took the form of a snake. He was in the snake that talked to Eve. So my answer to him was, I don't know if that would help your problem of snakes in the basement, but I know one thing, it can't hurt. God's word is powerful, and I've seen that in some surprising ways, and uh, he said, okay, thank you. Um, so I got invited to speak at a place in Missouri uh, a couple of years later, and I'm, this guy came up, and he said, do you remember the guy that called you about the snakes in the basement? And I said, yes, I do. He said, I was that guy, and I want you to know, after we staked our house, I never found another snake in the basement. I, I used to find one every time I would go there, but now we never see a snake down there. God's word, scripture, had a literal effect on the physical realm. Why should we find this so surprising? God's word brought creation into existence. Do you believe God's word has that kind of power? I do, and I think it's a faith issue. More and more, I'm realizing that crazy stories like these scriptures affecting the snakes in the basement should be more of what we expect to happen instead of a shock to our system when we hear about them happening. So in light of today's thoughts, let me suggest part of your personal battle plan might be to ask God to help you begin to see the literal effect of God's powerful word on our physical realm. And let me know what you see. Let me know what happens. Email me at stevehemphill one at me.com. Maybe you could pray like this, Lord, open my eyes to the literal power of your holy word in my physical world and give me the faith I need to recognize it as such in Jesus name. See you next time on Battle Plan where we're going to talk about how Satan baited some Missouri ranchers. I want to remind you to keep praying because prayer works. God loves you and I love you. Have a great day.